Hello and welcome to the third video on antimicrobial susceptibility testing. In the previous two videos, we have covered disk diffusion methods and dilution methods. Today, we will take up various other methods to detect the antibiotic susceptibility testing. Now, coming to the epsilometer test, also known as e-test, is an exponential gradient method to determine the antimicrobial susceptibility. It is a quantitative method that applies both the principle of dilution and diffusion of antibiotic into the medium. The e-test uses rectangular plastic strip of size 5 mm into 60 mm which is thin, inert and non-porous. The strip has two surfaces with antimicrobial concentration gradient on one side and numerical scale on the other side. There is a predefined continuous and exponential gradient of antibiotic on the strip. By exponential gradient, we mean that the antibiotic is continuously present and it is in the exponential manner with 0.04 microgram per milliliter as the minimum concentration of the antibiotic, which rises up to 64 micrograms per milliliter, which is 1600 times increase exponential increase as we go toward the higher side of the strip in this method the inoculation of muller hinton agar is the same as for the disc diffusion method where we make a lawn culture with the test strain of the bacterium to be tested after this we apply the e-strip to the agar surface with the help of forceps with the side of strip showing the scale facing upwards. Use templates to position 4 to 6 strips onto the 150 mm plate or 1 to 2 strips onto a 90 mm plate. Do not remove or replace the strip once it has touched the agar surface. Repeat the entire procedure for quality control stains, strains, then incubate the plates at 37 degrees centigrade for 18 to 24 hours. For result, we see an ellipse and read MIC at the point where it intersects the scale. Now, if ellipse intersects between two values, we always round up to the higher value. If intersect differs on either side of the strip, we read MIC of the higher value. MIC values can be interpreted as sensitive, intermediate or resistant by comparing the breakpoint values of each antibiotic with the criteria recommended by the CLSI standards. Let us now discuss the automated methods. Several automated systems are available these days, such as Vitec 2 Bacterial Identification and Susceptibility Testing System, Phoenix System, Microscan Walkaway System. Most of these systems use commercially available panels and provide rapid results as compared to traditional methods. These systems are computer assisted and have sophisticated softwares. For example, in Vitec 2 system, a miniaturized card of dimension 10 cm into 6 cm into 0.5 cm and weighing roughly around 16 grams is used. It has 64 wells with multiple concentration of antimicrobial agent and a filling tube on the side of the card. The antibiotic is in the dehydrated form which gets rehydrated when the organism suspension is introduced into the card through automated filling process. Cards are incubated in a temperature controlled environment and results are read by optical readings every 15 minutes through computer based software. Another system that is the Phoenix system is a broth based automated micro dilution method. This provides a convenient manual gravity based inoculation process. The consumables are commercially available and provided along with the kit which consists mainly of the ID broth which is cation adjusted, antibiotic susceptibility testing broth, 
AST indicator, which is a redox indicator, and an AST panel, which contains dried antimicrobial agents. Phoenix panels are inoculated with a standardized inoculum. Once inoculated panels are placed into the instrument and incubated at 35 degrees centigrade. Its panels are read only by the instrument and cannot be read manually. The instrument tests panels every 20 minutes up to 16 hours. For reading the system, it utilizes a redox indicator for the detection of the organism growth in the presence of the antimicrobial agent. The MIC results and interpretive categorical results that is sensitive, intermediate and resistance will be shown for the organism oblique antimicrobial agent combinations. Microscan walkaway system also uses the principle of broth microdilution in a panel format which is manually inoculated with the multi-pronged device. Inoculated uh, panels are then placed in an incubator reader unit where they are incubated for the required time and then the growth patterns are automatically read and interpreted. Depending on the micro dilution tray used, bacterial growth may be detected using spectrophotometry or fluorometry. Molecular or genotypic methods of detecting AST are the effective direct methods that eliminate the long processes of uh, tedious bacterial cultures, long incubation periods, chances of contamination and the spread of the deadly infections. Among them, polymerase chain reaction, DNA microarrays and chips and loop mediated isothermal amplifications are some of the genotypic techniques for the detection of antibiotic resistance. Genotypic methods are generally attributed to the rapid, sensitive, direct and specific detection of the resistance genes, but they require expensive reagents and machinery with specific maintenance conditions and also have a prerequisite of skilled personnel. Apart from all these methods, there are certain emerging methods for AST detection. Amongst it, microfluidics-based diagnostics are one of the most promising emerging tools, which involves uh, the evolving field characterized by the manipulation of fluids in micro volume. So in this video we covered e-test, various automated methods, molecular methods and some of the emerging new methods to detect AST. Do give your comments and suggestions for improvement. Also please like, share and subscribe the channel for similar videos.